diagram that shows the ladder and all the forces acting on it. So they're telling us that one end or the upper end of the ladder is acting, is actually resting on the smooth vertical wall, which is that vertical, and then the other lower end is resting on a rough horizontal ground. So since they're saying it's smooth vertical wall, then it means here along this there is no element of friction. And since our horizontal ground is rough, then there is an element of friction and it acts inwards. And we are going to call it F. So I'm going to call point A. This is a point where the ladder is resting on the wall. And I'm going to call it point A. And then point B is a point where the ladder is resting on the horizontal ground. The horizontal ground is going to offer the reaction to the ladder and at this point we shall have it, we shall have the normal reaction and we are going to call it R1. And then at point A, the wall also offers a reaction. And at point A, we are going to have the normal reaction, R2. And then, they're telling us that the ladder is 20 kilograms, and it's a uniform ladder. So if it is a uniform ladder, then it means its weight acts at its center, which we call the center of gravity. So, uh, since the ladder is 20 kilograms, its weight is got by getting by multiplying its mass and acceleration due to gravity, which gives us 20 g. And since it is 5 meters long, then the center of gravity will be 2.5 meters from the either ends of the ladder. So this implies that uh, from this point, from point F, uh, to D, we are going to have this is 2.5 meters. And then from point G still, up to the next end of the ladder, it is 2.5 what? Meters. I'm going to call this point C. Now, they're telling us that the bottom of the ladder is 3 meters from the wall. So I'm going to have, then it means this point is 3 meters from the wall. So after that, we are now going to consider both translational equilibrium and then rotational equilibrium. And since our ladder is in equilibrium, then it means the resultant force acting on the ladder is zero. So Considering a uh, translational equilibrium I will have to resolve vertically and then horizontal. So resolving Vertically, I'll have in the vertical direction, I'll have 20 G acting vertically downwards, and then I have R1 acting vertically upwards. So, therefore, uh, at equilibrium, then it means that 20 G is equal to my R1. And I can call this equation 1. Secondly, I'm going also to resolve horizontal. So resolving horizontally, I'll have at horizontal sense, I'll have frictional force acting towards the wall and then arrow 2 is acting in the opposite direction. 
So therefore, I will have that at the equilibrium, I will still have F is equal to R2. But we know that friction is always directly proportional to the normal reaction at that point. So it implies that my F is directly proportional to R1, which is the normal reaction at this point where friction is active. So this implies that if I am to introduce the constant of proportionality that we call the coefficient of friction and we use letter mu, it will be F equal to mu R1. So therefore, F alone is going to be, my R1 is 20G. I'm going to replace it here. So it means that this is going to be 20G mu. So therefore, uh, if I'm to come back here, F is equal to R2, and F at the same time is equal to 20G mu, I'll have that F is equal to R2, which is equal to 20G mu. And I'll call this is equation, equation 2. I'm done with the translation null equilibrium. Then, secondly, we are also going to consider rotational equilibrium.